Well, that is Alan Aoko's report voiced by Hibak Said. Moving on, Kenyans can now leverage smaller wind turbines to harness household energy and substitute for other energy solutions. The turbines that are a smaller radius and portable can be placed on building tops to use wind for energy production. Energy experts are, however, saying that innovation uptake in the energy sector has been low in Kenya due to low funding in the field of research and energy innovation. Kenya stands out among African countries when it comes to wind energy production. The Lake Turkana wind plant has a capacity of 310 megawatts, making it the largest project of its kind on the continent, with 365 wind turbines, each with a capacity of 850 kilowatts. According to the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, 73% of the country experiences wind speeds of 6 meters per second or higher at 100 meters above ground level. However, Kenya's energy commercial readiness has been found to be low. The Principal Secretary at the State Department of Energy, Dr. Gordon Kehalangwa, says research has not been adequately funded to ensure innovation in the energy sector is sustained. He added that the research is critical in the development of clean energy and urged energy institutions to look into the possibility of increasing research funding. Uh, the government uh, put in so much money, maybe because the resources may not be enough. And for that matter, we've really not uh, adequately funded research and innovation in this country. The institutions of higher learning that are really supposed to be the leaders they have not really accomplished a lot because of certain limitations and the limitations are basically financed According to research they conducted by the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, energy innovation uptake is not very high among Kenyans, saying there are various energy technologies that can be harnessed by Kenyans to power their households. Among the innovations is a smaller wind turbine that can be put on building rooftops that uses wind to produce power. Part of the promotion of renewable energy in Kenya, one of the things we are doing is we do project implementation on renewable energy. We also do research on renewable energy. And what we have just presented was a baseline study. We wanted to know what's the status of renewable energy in Kenya. And we have observed that Kenya are really eager to, to bless use of renewable energy, but there is a lot to be done as it was presented. There are many policy intervention and some of the things we also to encourage Kenyans to adopt them. Um, wind in terms of huge um, wind parks that is really well established with um, the Kipeto, the Lake Turkana and even the Ngong being very key examples of that. However the small wind using small wind uh, systems, those wind turbines with a radius or uh, uh, um, an area of uh, less than 200 square meters, that one is not well taken up so far um, because our thinking was, we suggested that the thinking should move towards small wind turbines that can be installed on top of buildings. Reporting for Prime Edition, I am Teresa Mutai.